In this video, I'm going to be swapping these two LEGO Battle Packs. But what does that mean? Well, I'm going to try to make a cannon using the 332nd pieces, and try to make a speeder using the 501st pieces. Will I be able to make something decent, or will it just be a complete mess? Keep watching to find out. The first step was to open the sets. So here are the parts for the 501st set, and these are the parts for the 332nd set. But before I start designing a cannon and speeder, I'm going to start with the minifigures. So I built all 8 of the clone minifigures, but I haven't given them their helmets or weapons yet, because I'm going to be swapping the helmets between the clones. I'm going to swap Captain Vaughn with the 501st officer, swap the two heavy troopers with the jetpack troopers, and swap the specialist with the regular 332nd trooper. And it's finished! This is the new 332nd battle pack, and this is the new 501st battle pack. I'm gonna quickly take you through them before I move on to the build. You've got a 332nd specialist, two 332nd heavy troopers, and a 332nd officer. For the 501st, there's Vaughn when he was just a regular 501st captain, two 501st jetpack troopers, and one regular 501st trooper. Now it's time for the challenging part, designing the builds. Somehow I have to try and make a cannon using these parts, and a speeder using these parts. Well, here goes. Okay, so I've started on the 332nd battle pack, and this is what I've got for a cannon so far. It's pretty cool, but I need to see if I can make something more with it. Okay, so this is what I've got so far, it's like a sit-down cannon thing. It's pretty cool, but I haven't used a lot of the pieces, so I'm gonna see what else I can do. This is what I have so far, it's like two seats, one on either side, one has one cannon and a shield, one has like two cannons above it. I'm gonna see if I can use the rest of the pieces though. So I've just finished the 332nd cannon, and it's looking pretty good, so now I'm gonna get started on the 501st speeder. I'm gonna show you what they look like together at the end, so keep watching so you don't miss out. So I don't wanna show you it yet, but I've built something for the 501st cannon pieces, but I've still got quite a lot left over, so I'm gonna see if I can use any more of them, and then I'll show you the builds. So these are all the spare pieces I have left from the 501st build, which really isn't that many. I have a lot more spare pieces for the 332nd build, but I think it's a bit better. And now it's time for the big reveal. So I'll start off with the 332nd cannon. Now this build was kind of complicated, it's very delicate, doesn't take too much to break it, but it's better than some builds I've made in the past, and for an alternative build, I think it came out pretty cool. I've got these sort of shieldy things up here, two guns for this guy who sits at the front, and this hasn't got anything on it, but I was hoping, you know, if you had something printed, it could maybe look like a computer to control the guns. And then on the other side is this other gunner, who only has one gun but has a lot of shields here. Um, so they're just sort of balancing there, it sort of looks like a scorpion to me, so maybe it could be the scorpion cannon. But yeah, this is what I made with the 332nd pieces. And now this is the speeder that I made with the 501st pieces. There's only one laser cannon here, but there's storage for the other spring-loaded shooter here. You could sit one person at the back here and one at the front. This bit at the back is sort of like, I don't know, antennas or the engine or something. It's kind of random, but I'm just glad I can make something and it looks like it's hovering along. So I'm pretty happy with it. And here are the final builds with the minifigures. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, especially the minifigures. It's a nice way to add some variation to my army. Here is the final lineup for the minifigures with the builds behind them. Well there you have it, swapping two LEGO battle packs and making a creation. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, I'm very appreciative that you did watch it, and tell me what you thought of the builds in the comments. Creation!